I have dedicated my professional career to the study and control of arthropods. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite fossils, um, the specimen known as Lucy. Its uh, official designation is AL-288-1. Um, this fossil um, has been the source of a lot of not scientific controversy, but a lot of discussion in creationist circles, um, and a lot of errors and outright fraud perpetuated by creationists about this. Um, I know there's a lot of videos that address these same things um, that I'm going to talk about today. Uh, a lot of great resources um, about it if you wish to look them up. Um, and so the point, why would I make another video about it, why would I make a video about it, is because I don't think it can be said enough. Um, these creationist sites are filled with just outright lies about this find, about this species in general, um, and about Australopithecines, uh, the genus. Um, I have a uh, reconstruction right here. This is actually a sculpture. Um, based on the composite skull creation that uh, Tim White uh, made of the species, um, based on a number of individuals, we don't we have some fairly complete skulls um, of this species, although they didn't at the time when he made his reconstruction. Um, this is not specifically from the Lucy fossil. The Lucy finds um, had a lower jaw and a few um, uh, cranium fragments. Um, did not have a complete skull by any stretch of the imagination. Um, one of the things I want to talk about with this, um, the first thing I want to address is the uh, outright fraud that um, some of these creationists have done about it. I was watching some webs or some YouTube video about hominid frauds, and they were, you know, it was a creationist video, and it was talking about Nebraska man and Piltdown man, and then they had this sort of big announcement: the grand finale was, and perhaps the greatest fraud of all. Um, Lucy, and um, I thought that's a, really a weird upside down uh, 1984 double speak kind of confusing where where this fossil is the greatest fraud of all when it's actually the absolute best evidence, um, the nail in the coffin of whether or not human beings descended from ape like creatures because um, Lucy is the perfect, perfect intermediate fossil, um, the species, not specifically Lucy. Um, itself as although um, the point is is that there it, you couldn't imagine a better thing we are talking essentially a chimpanzee that was bipedal walked on two legs um, ha that's everything you need it, it's a chimera of human and chimp traits it's it's not that humans evolved from chimps although it, I would argue that we would likely call that ancestor a chimp if it were alive today um, in the same sense that human beings are actually another kind of chimp um, my, my, I get into uh, taxonomy, cladistic taxonomy, um, I, with invertebrates, and so I, I sort of try to apply the same rules to our species. Um, that's a whole different issue. Um, so anyway, I was, I went to a uh, creation science seminar, um, in Sitka, Alaska, and uh, the speaker uh, was talking about having gone to see Donald Johansson speak. He personally went and saw him speak. And um, apparently, this is how the story went. Um, and it's not original, by the way. It's actually a stolen story. But these creationists are, have no problem with stealing from each other, um, which is kind of funny. But anyway, his, the story was that Donald Johansson was talking about Lucy and the find and how amazing it was and um, how it was proven that she was bipedal because of her knee joint. And some brave creationist in the audience stood up and said, where did you actually find Lucy's knee? And Johansson was embarrassed and apparently, uh, you know, was, was trying to be evasive. And when pressed, he finally grudgingly admitted that he found the knee two kilometers away and in a whole different strata than the rest of the fossil. And it was the shocked gasps in the audience and proof that Donald Johansson had been perpetuating this great fraud. Um, it's a great story, except that it's completely false. Um, the person I saw claiming to have seen it, um, wasn't there either. Um, I mean, it was. Its story has been repeated with numbers of creationists all claiming that they were the one that was in the audience, or they were either the questioner or they saw this occur. And the reality is, the knee that they are talking about is not Lucy's knee. 
um, unless you talk about the species itself called Lucy, which is you see in creation of circles, unfortunately. Um, it's kind of adds some confusion, confusion to it. The knee joint was found in 1973. Um, Donald Johansson found the knee joint. Um, he found the, the, was it the distal end of the femur and the proximal end of the uh, fibula, and they fit together in such a way that it was obvious that the creature was a biped. Whatever had that, he didn't know what it was, but he knew it was a biped, a bipedal primate. Um, so that was, you know, fuel further funding for the next year's dig in which, and that next year is when Lucy was found, um, along with additional um, individuals of the species. He never claimed the knee was from Lucy. Lucy actually has her own knee. Um, it's not as complete as that first find, but we have many of the same parts of the femur, and they are exactly the same, showing that she also was a biped. Um, so for him to make this claim, this one guy that I'd seen, and then when I actually, when I, uh, after seeing this, I went and I looked up on Alt Talk Origins to, to find out the or the, where the story came from, and they actually have a great article on, on there. I'll put up a link to it. Um, they... Uh, he was. I found out that the same creationist that I saw had been informed about this fraud, informed, and asked to stop using that story 13 years earlier. So he wasn't unaware that it was false. Um, in fact, he, you know, in 2007, he's still using that same story. Um, that's. I just find that amazing. That level of. I. I I'm sure. Uh, I can't believe that you can call yourself a Christian and, and just spread outright lies like that, I guess. But, oh, oh well. Um, anyway, I guess they make a lot of money. It justifies it. Anyway, uh, so this that was one thing. And then the other thing that, that was brought up, and back, in fact, it was in the video I saw the other day, as well as the same speaker talked about that uh, the reconstructions of Lucy or of the species show hands and feet when he showed an, a picture of the actual find the AL288-1 fossil, and it has no hands and no feet, a few scattered bones um, of each, but no complete hands or feet. And this was being um, mentioned as if this was some kind of a fraud, you know, like he lied about the feet, um, or they lied about having feet. And um, the problem with it is, is that Lucy isn't the only individual of the species we have. In fact, I believe there's about 30 known individuals, um, including one, the Sulam child, that's uh, still being worked on as, as we speak, that is uh, significantly more complete than Lucy. Um, all of the hands and feet that we do have uh, show that this was indeed a biped. Uh, the early reconstructions were right. Um, where they were erred, and it's true, is that it um, turns out that the finger bones of the species are longer and cur more curved than we thought they would be. Um, which indicates this species probably lived in trees um, as well as bipedal on the ground. So, um, again, all that does is make her m even more of an intermediate fossil, um, not less of one. So, anyway, I wanted, wanted to talk about these things. I'm not going to um, go into too much. Uh, you know, I guess last time I, I first version of this video went way, way, way over. I ended up like 20 minutes, so I'm not going to bore you with my rants for that long. Um, I just want it to be known, again, the most important take-home message of this is that when somebody says Lucy, they're talking about an individual, a nickname for an individual fossil, representing a species that we have a lot more than just those bones are. So anytime you see somebody critiquing Lucy, um, make sure that, they, that they're referring to the fossil or are they referring to the species. We talk about this T-Rex. We talk about Sue, the T-Rex, as an individual. We wouldn't say something about Sue's bones um, as representative of the entire species. Let's say Sue's, I don't know, right femur was crushed. We couldn't say, we, nobody would say, how do we know what the femur of a T-Rex looks like? Sue's femur was crushed. It doesn't make any sense. We have others. Um, that kind of a thing. So same thing with Lucy. Uh, keep that in mind. Um, these fossils are still coming, are still being excavated. There's some extremely exciting finds coming out of Ethiopia. Um, still to this day, especially this Salam child is, is, is wonderful. It was a three-year-old individual um, with complete hands and feet, or with com I think the complete feet. Anyway, where the foot bones are in such perfect order that we can, it solves a lot of mysteries about how these things walked um, and also demonstrates conclusively that they were obligate bipeds, meaning they could not walk like a chimpanzee. They had to walk on two legs. It's pretty exciting. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Um, thanks, and uh, keep watching. Thank you.